Hey everybody, and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. As always, if you're liking the videos, please hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell notification. That way you'll know every time I'm uploading a new video and every time I'm starting a new live stream. Today we're doing another speedy sample review. So 24 samples in these two boxes. We will pick one at random and these whiskeys are made up of whiskeys sent to me by friends out there in the whiskey world, whiskeys sent to me by distilleries to review, and whiskeys that I have already reviewed, let the bottle sit open for a few months and then poured a sample so we can see how that whiskey is doing down the line. So without further ado, if this, oh, if this is a whiskey I've already reviewed, I will link it up here in the corner and down in the description below. That way you can check out the original review if you wanna do that. So let's get into the review. We've got our random number generator pulled up and we are gonna be drinking sample number 12, which makes it easy because there's 12 in this box. So it's gonna be this front corner. Pour a little whiskey. And I think I tasted dry. All right, we've got a medium amber color. Not too much in the way of alcohol legs. And at the moment, an odd nose. I smell like a buried rye like character with a lot of deeper notes. Got a little bit of proof on it, getting a little bit of heat on the nose. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like this is rye though. Definitely a different rye. Something else going on here. Got some buried fruity characters. Definitely some wood here. A little bit of light fruit of a floral character. Smells good. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Yeah, we're getting... I'm going to take another taste before I give you a ton of flavor notes, but... One of the big notes here is a lot of oak and barrel. Definitely tasting some barrel char, definitely tasting some oak, lots of spice in the back. Very quickly you get some of those lighter fruits and they quickly turn into a lot of these other more like rye forward type characters on the spice forward type characters. But let me get another taste and let's give you some more flavors here. Yeah, tons and tons of black pepper and baking spices. And there's a touch of heat here, so this has got a higher proof. I think we're back in like the, definitely over 100, maybe like that 105 range, maybe a little more. Got some good proof, some good mouthfeel. Finish is lingering, got lots of flavor, and it's changing as it lingers, which I love. I love complexity in whiskey, so... For me, that's a great thing to have this, these changes that just continue on because it, it keeps it interesting. You don't get bored with the whiskey. You're not just left with this bitter barrel char kind of character though. It's kind of morphing into these fruity berry notes. It's good. I feel like I've tasted this before, so I'm guessing this may be a re-review. Um, this tastes somewhat similar. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say this tastes a lot like the Lock, Stock, and Barrel 18-year-old that I reviewed previously. Um, and it's great whiskey, it's complex, and this has some of those characters that I tasted then. So, one more taste. Yeah, this whiskey is just so complex and there's so much going on. It's really hard to do this whiskey in a speedy sample review. But 
like I said, tons of spices. There are fruits buried in there. There's barrel characters buried in there. There's vanilla. There's tons of barrel char. All kinds of stuff going on in here. So very good whiskey. I'm enjoying it. Definitely a whiskey that you want to sit and sip on and just kind of relax with and just explore the flavors that you can find in it because there's tons of complexity here. So for me now, I'm going to give this whiskey a speedy sample review score of an... 89. I think it's really good, really complex, kind of unique, which is why I think it might be something that I reviewed before, like I said, with this lock, stock, and barrel 18-year-old. So let's not wait any longer and let's get to it. I was right. It's the lock, stock, and barrel 18-year-old straight rye whiskey at 109 proof. So I bottled this um, a little over three months after I opened the sample, oh, they sent me a small like 200 ml sample bottle from the distillery. This was provided to me um, by the distillery and they sent me this sample. I opened it, poured this sample a few months later. Um, I have not tasted it since I did the review, which was quite a while ago. I mean, that review had to be over six months ago. So I'm glad I was able to pick it out. It is a very unique whiskey. So I'm thinking that that's likely why it was such a little bit easier to figure out what it was. Um, it's super unique, super hard to do in a blind review, and this is kind of the downfall of blind reviews, is when you get something very unique, it's very hard to assess it because it's not like anything else. So when you're sitting here trying to make these associations to different whiskeys, it's tough because it's very unique and it's very different than other whiskeys. And I think this is in that category. You don't find a lot of 18-year-old rye whiskey, at least not <clears throat> here in the States. There's probably more of it up in Canada. Um, but uh, it's very good, very flavorful, lots of characters. It is very expensive. You know, this bottle, the 750 milliliter bottle goes for somewhere like 230 to $250. This is not cheap whiskey. So I would definitely recommend if you don't, if you're not sure if it's something you're going to like, go find a taste at a bar. They're out there. I've had, um, not the 18 year old, but like the 16 year old I've found in bars. So, um, definitely give it a shot. See if you like it. It's very interesting and very good whiskey. So if you've had the chance to have any of the lock, stock, and barrel line, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it. As always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can send me an email at blindwhiskeyreviews. That's whiskey with an e at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.